Hey bosses, hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of the day you are watching this video. Welcome back to another Boss Creations production. As y'all can see in the video, we are doing a domino set today and I am so excited to finally bring this to you. We are going to be doing a full on from beginning to end domino set using our domino mold. Now, I do not remember where I got this domino mold from. It was possibly in a Facebook group that I am currently in. If I can remember and find out where I got it from, I will let you guys know in the description box below. But this would be a double six domino mold and it is the exact size of your normal domino. I've had a domino mold before and it just didn't work out. But anyway, here, let's get into the tutorial. What we're doing is equal parts, part A, part B. I use amazing resin and I get my resin from, um, I believe I got this box from Hobby Lobby. So it's equal parts of part A and part B. You're going to add them together and you are going to mix them. Now, it is up to you how you mix it. The instructions does tell you to mix it slowly so you can avoid a lot of air bubbles. But those air bubbles can be eliminated if you let it, after you have mixed it, you let it sit for like two to three minutes. All those bubbles are going to rise to the top and pop. And whatever leftover bubbles you have after you have put it in your mold, you can eat. I prefer a heat gun because torches tend to mess up your silicone molds. So I do um, a heat gun. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use whatever rest leftover resin we have to put into that mold, the weed plant ashtray mold, because I've been working on that ashtray mold for a while because it takes a lot of resin. So what I do is whatever I'm working on, whatever leftover I had to add, what color, whatever color I want, and then I add it to that ashtray mold. But right now we have my partner in. She's going to show you how we mix this. She is mixing slow, but I do have this video sped up for a while. So you're gonna mix it for three minutes. Once you mix it for three minutes, you're gonna let it sit for two to three minutes. And you're gonna see that it's gonna look clear and all your bubbles are gonna be basically to the top. Okay, so now that we have everything all mixed, we're just going to pour. Now, I'm doing a three-layered design. So our first pour is just going to be a thin, flat layer where I can add the Tampa Buccaneers logo because this is a Tampa Buccaneers set. So you're going to fill the bottom of your mold with a light amount of clear epoxy because you want to be able to see the picture through the epoxy so just a little bit at a time and then we're going to set this to the side and let it cure this is going to be a three-day process because it is three different layers well technically four different layers but i'm going to do one of the layers halfway th within a eight hour period of the first layer being dropped to kind of save time because this is a long process if you want to do three layers normally you just pour the one color that you want to use pour that let it cure add your picture on the top pour a light coat of about this amount on the top let that cure and then you're done but this, I want it to be extra because I am normally extra. The person did not ask for a three-layer design. They just asked for a Tampa Bay Buccaneers domino set. That's it. I just went the extra mile. I'm doing it three, three layered, three colored. So that is done. And whatever extra leftover that I had, I used black. I lost the video for it to fill in the rest of my um weed plant ashtray as you can see over there and then i still had extra left over so i kind of added a little red to make it like a little blood color and i'm adding it into my comb molds my and my three keychain molds my afro queen and my weed plant keychain mold so we're gonna let this sit up 
and we're gonna let this cure overnight. You always hit it with your heat gun to make sure you get any bubbles out that did come up to the top. So you always make sure you hit it with the heat gun. This is the finished product for this. And now we're just gonna move on and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey bosses, hey. This is a brand new day. It's about, I wanna say about four o'clock in the app, five o'clock in the afternoon of the next day. Everything is all good and cured out. I like the colors of these. It's kind of like a black with a hint of, a, depending on the angle that you look at it, with a hint of a little red in the back. So just an easy little pick and hair comb. Simple as that. Nothing fancy. My little Afro queen. Now, with these, I do want to add... Um, some kind of words or something to it but that will be in another video you guys when i'm when i have no orders to do and i just need to make a video for y'all i will show y'all how y'all can do a simple little word on the top without going through a whole day of curing process so this is going to be set for another video i'm just demolding them out of their trays at the moment now this is beautiful oh my gosh i was so surprised with the way this came out it looks gorgeous so so gorgeous i can't wait for y'all to see this now this is going to be like four colors the black is your base that's their bottom then it's going to have like green and yellow as your second layer and then there's going to be red in it as well i just love the way this one came out so beautiful so pretty i'm trying to make the reveal a little nice that's why i still got this thing on top of it but look at this just look oh my goodness now that now that is what you call the bomb.com i call this the rasta ashtray it is currently on the website the bosscreations.com if you like it, go on the website and it will be there. So, it is pretty. It is pretty. It is very sturdy. It is made of resin and it's gorgeous. So, we're just going to move on in. I just love the way it looks. I had to drop the light on it for y'all to see it. Guys, this is the best one I have done. I have done one before. It does take a lot of resin, so this is only my second one. The other one was all green with weed um weed plant symbols throughout of it but it is gorgeous anyways back to the reason why you guys clicked on this video in the first place right now i have printed off the logos on clear sticker paper since this is going to go on the inside of the domino i wouldn't i, I wanted it to be a see-through type um deal so you don't have any white blockage trying to see anything in the dominoes so I'm just trimming them down because for some reason, I cannot get my my Cricut to cut clear, see-through, glossy paper for some reason. So I hand cut it by hand in a small little square and I mirrored it before I printed it. So when you put it down, it's going to be face down. But when you turn it over and everything is good, it's going to be the right, the right face forward, face up the right way. So all, it's been cured overnight. And we're adding on the decals on the inside. This is on that top first layer that we did, that clear layer. And after we have added this layer on, we are going to go ahead and add our um, epoxy on it, which is going to be of a creamy whitish kind of color. I'm just showing you guys how I am doing this part. Like I said, this is going to be a from beginning to end tutorial of everything that is done when it comes to doing a domino set. Now, I finished my um, epoxy resin from the last one, so this is a brand new set. Part A is the same thing as before, equal arts of parts of part A to equal parts of part B. Put all of part A in, a, in one cup, then we're gonna go in with the part B, and we're gonna do equal parts of this one as well. I forgot to mention in the first set when we was doing epoxy, you guys always wear gloves as your protective gear and a face mask 
so you can protect yourself from the fumes. So after you have added everything that you needed to add, you have mixed it up to the way you needed to mix it up for your three minutes. This is where you're going to add your color. Now I'm using white resin pigment and I'm going to try and get it to the white color that I need it to be. I don't want it to be too translucent, but it does not need to be a solid white. So just add as much of the pigment that you're going to need in order to get it to the color that you want. Now, I did want to add some white mica powder in here, and I believe I did, but um, I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. I think I couldn't find the right color white that I wanted, so that's why I didn't add it in. But we're going to do the same thing like we did before. We're going to do a thin layer because, remember, we still have two more coats of resin to do. So we're gonna make sure it's not overfilled. If it gets overfilled, scoop it into the next one and make sure everything is all leveled out and evened out to the best of your eyesight and ability. Everybody don't have the right eyesight. Everybody can't see everything leveled. Some people may be colorblind like my husband. So just the best to your ability as far as your eye can see, you want them to be as leveled and as equal as possible now my eyesight ain't 100 so all of mine's were not 100 equal but they were pretty close so what you're going to do is just finish filling up everything and make sure everything is a nice even layer all right now everything is all evened out and good i'm just going to pick it up and i'm going to make sure everything goes in the way i want it to go check and make sure everything is leveled if anything is overfilled like that one is and something is not filled enough you're just going to scoop it out of one and put it in the other fill in all your corner holes make sure you do that all the corner holes need to be filled in if you have excess in one and it can't go in another one just scoop it back out in your cup you know everything is good hit it with your heat gun get your heat gun plug it in and make sure you hit everything with your heat gun so any bubbles that might be underneath it will come to the top any bubbles that are on the top will get popped and it will come out of the way of your mold because you're looking for a clear crystal bubble free mold now this is the next day welcome back y'all we are going to do our top layer which is going to be our red layer so we're just adding a little shine red pigment mica pigment in this that's going to give you a nice shiny red but i didn't like the way this red was it didn't look as it didn't give me tampa bay buccaneers red so what I did was I added a little of the red pigment liquid resin pigment that I have. I just added a few little drops of it so it can give me that deep crimson red that I'm looking for that more matches the Tampa Bay Buccaneers colors. So once that is done, everything is all mixed up and everything, I am just going to pour it. It's not going to be a thin layer, but it's not going to be all the way filled. Because remember, we still have to add our decal on the back and to seal that in with another clear coat of resin on top. So this is going to be filled with a little lip left over so I can do a dome check at the end. I have my incense mold over there. Now, you guys are not going to see this incense mold because I'm going to be real with y'all. When this thing was curing, something kind of dropped on it and all of the mold, all, most of it left from one mold to the next. So this is the first and last time you're going to see this, this incense mold in this video because it did not turn out right at the end. If y'all want to see the messed up one, I can show it in the next video. Just leave me a comment down below. Accidents do happen in our handmade business. That order wasn't for anybody. I was going to use that as a free gift to give out to people because it was just extra resin. But it is what it is. Um, but like I said before, we're going to fill it up. We're not going to overfill it. If you notice that you have overfilled it, just add it to the next 
the next section that does not have enough and needs to get enough. So everything is filled out to the best of my eyesight abilities. Some of seeing a little extra left over right there. Just let that flow into the next one because that one wasn't filled up all the way. Everything is just cool and easy and I apologize that it's halfway out of camera shot but I had to look at it and see I needed to get an eyes view of it all so going back in putting a little extra on top to for those that weren't filled up to my liking because I really don't need that much space at the top I just need enough to cover up over the dominoes if you can get what I'm saying all right, so I'm just trying to get this extra bit out of this for this messed up mold that is gonna be, that it's gonna come out to be. I'm I'm just so upset with this that this is not gonna come out the way it's supposed to. Like I wanted to, cause it, that third one that I'm gonna that y'all gonna see me do, the next tomorrow is gonna is so pretty, but it ain't work out. It ain't come out. Accidents happen, so I digress. All right, y'all, you're going to hit it with your heat gun. Always make sure you hit your resin with a heat gun, a torch, a lighter if you don't have anything, anything with some flame, some heat to it that will pop those bubbles because you need them bubbles popped. I'm trying to clean up the mold right now so I don't have any extra stuff to resin off or whatever. I mean, file off. Next day, they are hard. These are the decals that have been printed and cut, which I did off camera. Didn't want this video to be too, too long. So I did print and cut them on the Cricut. And we're just going to add them as straight as possible on the top of each one of these dominoes. Fast forward to the end. All the dominoes are been, have been covered except for that last one give you another full-blown face up forward how i do attach them like i said in the last video guys please excuse my nails because my nails are atrocious i know and i'm so sorry i've just been busy work my nine to five as a cna and also these orders that i try to get out which i have not been recording all the orders that i've been doing because like i said recording takes time editing takes time and sometimes i don't have enough time so i get out the videos that i know i haven't really shown on here before to get it done all right this is and this is while the top while the top part of that layer is curing which i did not get to do i am sorry i think i lost that video but i am recording on my phone it's my pixel google pixel 6 and sometimes my videos either get messed up or they just don't download the way I want them to. So sometimes they just get lost or screwed up or whatever. But I do. St I am putting it in a wooden box. I am painting. This is not the red that came that I needed to come out, but it's, it matches close enough to this. It is for the Domino's box. It's acrylic paint, and I'm just painting the box, a regular wooden box. And so now this is the next day, and this is how this came out. Your domino sets are supposed to be perfect, but those that are a little whiter than most, I am going to do those over off camera, and you will see the full set. But right now, I'm just demolding these to get them out of the way. And those in that top row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think it's like eight, eight of them, that I redid over because they were just too white on the top and dominoes, they really do need to be uniformed and matching and whatnot. So we're just demolding the domino process out of these molds. And because I cleaned up my mold, the way I cleaned up my mold, I do not have that much cleanup or filing to do of the dominoes, but I will be doing filing. All right, so this is what the finished product looks like. Tampa Bay Buccaneers decal on the back and your numbers and holes on the front. All right, three, red, white, and clear. All right, let's get to filing. So I use a light little sanding block 
I believe this one was coarse because you need a little coarseness to get through this epoxy. And you're just going to sand down the rough edges to make sure nobody gets cut or hurt. The corners, make sure they're not too sharp because you don't want anybody to get hurt off of something that you have made for them. And I do believe that this was a Valentine's Day gift. So you got to make sure everything is safe for when you're, when you give them it gets delivered to your client so now we're going to add in our dots now i did most of the dots off camera but i'm going to do a few of them on camera to show you i used the back of a um a paintbrush a little mini paintbrush to put in the dots in the holes i'm sorry my finger is out and my, my hand is in the way but i'm scooping it out there i use my hand to scoop off any extra so after the dots have been colored so after all the filing is done, the box is dried, we are going to put all our decals in the box. I use sticker paper to print it off on sticker paper and then we're just going to center it in the middle of the box so that everything looks good and branded as a Tampa, Mayor, Tampa Bay Buccaneers domino set. So we're just going to smooth it on down on the inside and then we're going to turn around and close it that looks like look at that like he opens that up that is just going to be so pretty now we're going to close it and we're going to put on a front decal which is going to be a custom decal t2 is his nick his nickname i guess that's what they call the clients the client who ordered this and then the tampa bay buccaneers um name at the bottom center it as best you can don't want it too close to the bottom because they're going to use the latch to open it when they need to open it i did get this wooden box out of the craft section at walmart i did add those two buccaneer symbols to the side but i believe i did take them off at the end so right now we're going to finish putting on our paint on the lines for the center lines i'm going to show you guys in detail how we do the center lines i use a toothpick and the reason why i waited so long i did the dots first and i wanted the dots to dry before i started using more paint because i didn't want the paint to come off on my hands when i was doing that so i just waited till the dots to dry and did other other stuff so it's partially dried now and I'm just going to add the toothpick with the paint and go for my center. There is an easier way to do this. They have the paint with the little needle at the end. I don't have that. I didn't feel like purchasing that, but I know I can do it like this. So we're just going to do it like this. I do show you a couple of them. And then I'm going to turn the camera to let you see an up close version. And then we're going to move on. All right, so this is a straight through version of how this goes. You take your toothpick, you just dip it in your paint and you're going to let it drip or you're going to swipe it across your middle line. All right, y'all, this is the ending product of this. I'm going to let this set up overnight so it can fully dry. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's the last day. Everything is dry. Now we're going to package it up. I wrap the dominoes in tissue paper put the red the resin care card in added my business card and my thank you card and now we're just going to wrap the box in some more tissue paper the plastic wrap that i normally use for this i don't have any more of so this is the second best thing so we're gonna it is a local delivery but i'm gonna wrap it like it is a shipping delivery because she wants it pre-wrapped so he can't peek in or see anything that is going on. So we're going to wrap it, add our thank you, our logo sticker to that. And then we're going to prepare our box. Add some more tissue paper down so it can give it a nice professional aesthetic. And I'm going to use pink since this is a valentine's day gift like she said and you know pink is always the reds and the pinks 
Valentine's is always reds and pinks and I don't have any red or else I would have used red to match the colors. I had pink. So add another logo sticker. We're going to close this on up. We're going to add a thank you sticker on that latch. And then we're going to put on a business, I believe a business sticker on the front, right? With all our social handles. And then we're going to put it in the your package your one of you your package was packaged made and packaged on youtube sticker so they can watch the process of their product their order being made package it on up and call it a day all right y'all this is how we do our domino sets if you like what you see please like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye